Our politically incorrect segment tonight, New York University has stopped a gay Donald Trump supporter from speaking to the campus's college Republicans group. This comes two weeks after a professor from the same college screamed at an NYPD officer for not beating up a conservative, or in her words, Nazi guest speaker Gavin McGinnis. The university claims that the postponement of the speech this week is to ensure the safety of the students in light of recent protests, but it's hard to believe that they don't have an ulterior motive here. Joining me now, White House correspondent at the Gateway Pundit, Lucian Wintrich. Lucian, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Liz. I appreciate it. Uh, you look just as beautiful as always. Oh, thank you. That is so kind of you to say so. Lucian, tell me about yourself. First of all, you're gay, you're conservative, you support Donald Trump. Uh, you were set to give this speech at New York University this week uh, when at the last moment it was postponed. Lucian, why was it postponed? Well, you know, uh, right now on these university campuses, we have these folks calling themselves uh, Antifa or anti-fascists. And uh, humorously enough, uh, they, their actions and what they actually, what they uh, accomplish half the time is by definition fascism. I, so they, they basically made enough of a case that the NYU administration uh, put me from a threat level green to a threat <laughs> level orange. I mean, it, that's, uh, um, and apparently if you, <laughs> it's flattering, yeah. it's flattering in a certain sense, if they consider you a threat enough to their liberal agenda in order to, uh, ban you from their campus. Are you drinking bourbon on my show? You know, I'm, I'm trying to bring back the, uh, the journalism of the 1950s where people, uh, drank bourbon and they actually reported. Okay, so, uh, okay. I, this is this is half of uh, half of my case. I mean, it's, it's a little rude. <laughs> you're doing, not to you're doing a wonderful job though. I let, I do. Thank you. It's you a little like rude not yeah, to I'll, offer uh... to buy me a drink when you're drinking on your own, but I will look past it since we're in different <laughs> cities this time. Lucian, the university claimed that there were threats made against their students because of you coming to speak on their campus. Uh, what kind of threats? Um, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know. Based on the last experience that Gavin had, who's a friend of mine here in the city, um, somebody went as far as macing him in the face. Half of uh, the listeners of his show were assaulted. One kid ended up bloody and in the hospital that evening. So uh, I, I can only assume um, that they're, they're, they start off with these implied threats that, okay, this is a, fa this is a fascist, a, a gay um, fascist with a Colombian boyfriend somehow, uh, who's coming to our university. So let's, let's uh, protest him. Let's... <laughs> let's try to let's try to uh, impact the the actual talk, and I mean I'm really I I don't consider myself or Gavin or Milo to be honest to to be that objectionable. Uh, none of us have called for violence against these people. None of none of us have. Um, I mean <laughs> essentially a lot of what we do is is we'll discuss statistics, we'll discuss political theory. Um, it's relatively standard stuff. It is funny that in <laughs> modern times. Uh, political theory and and different perspectives have become so uh, objectionable. Right, and I, I mean that doesn't sound controversial to me, although I haven't been to one of your shows, so I can't speak first-handedly about that. But let me ask you this: uh, Does the university ever cancel liberal speakers? No, <laughs> no. First of all, liberal speakers tend to be very, very uh, boring. <laughs> um, but that 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 aside, uh, no, I've 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 not read a single case of a liberal speaker being canceled from any uh, speaking arrangement at any university. And that is part of the, the sort of liberal framework that a lot of these universities have. Right, and, and these, highly, these, highly these people, of course, these people, of course, are college professors. Far be it uh, from me to give them a suggestion that they haven't thought of. You know, they're smarter people than me, but why didn't they just bulk up law enforcement? So that's, that was NYU's uh, purported uh, reason for first canceling me and then delaying me. They said they need an entire month for some reason to, uh, to put the correct uh, security measures in place, which um, I don't know. I mean, I hope that when I show up there uh, a month from now, there, there are tanks that, uh, <laughs> that are driving by my side and... Uh, <laughs> right, don't, don't let this inflate. Don't let this inflate your ego too much. I mean, they're gonna, it sounds like they're gonna roll out the red carpet in a sense for you, but <laughs> Lucian, talk to me about what you've done, okay? so. You were, uh, you were the creator of Twinks for Trump during the campaign. Tell me about that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> Twinks for Trump. Um, 
It was essentially a way of playing with the, the stereotypes that uh, liberals have manufactured for conservatives. So for the most part, when, when uh, Huffington Post, uh, Salon, any of these like nonsensical publications are discussing conservatives, they'll characterize them as, oh, these, these uh, obese Midwesterners who, who hey, never read the, the news, who never read a paper. And, well, I mean, you're, <laughs> I, it, write Huffington Post and Salon about it. <laughs> um, I mean, they've, they've paid, they've actually, and I'm, you know, I'm working for a Midwestern uh, political publication now. Um, and I have, I have an incredible appreciation for the Midwest, and I know that, that the characterizations from the left are, are wildly inaccurate and laughable. And uh, sort of my, my theory uh, was that if, we, okay, obviously the, the left applauds homosexuality, they applaud um, uh, <laughs> sort of nudity. Right, right. They, um, they, they talk about they the tolerance. Models. They talk about themselves being inclusive, being tolerant, being accepting, all these different <laughs> things of anybody's identity, anybody's orientation. But it seems to me that they only want uh, diversity, if you will, when it comes to actual image, actual appearance. It seems to me diversity of thought is something that uh, is not included in their little tolerance scheme here. I mean, that's, uh, that's absolutely true. So, I mean, and that was, that was basically, I think, proved by the, uh, the Twinkster Trump series. So you have um, relatively well-known, by the way, New York models, uh, half-naked, um, two things liberals love, uh, all homosexual, another thing they love. Um, but, like, my God, they were all wearing Make America Great Again hats. And they just couldn't stand that. And uh, right after that, that... Uh, series premiered at the, um, at the RNC, all of a sudden these people who had uh, previously embraced me in the arts community in New York completely lashed out. Uh, all of my invitations to art events, to fashion events, all uh, withered up. I will say th those do get boring after a while. A lot, a lot of people think these New York events are, are wonderful, but they get very, relatively formulaic. Um, but I was, I was actually honestly shocked that, uh, that they didn't even see any humor in what they were doing or, uh, to, to quote them, fascism in a lot of their actions. Right, because uh, it was, that, that's it was, what they uh, accuse. It was kind of laughable. Right, that's what they accuse you of doing. They accuse you of being a fascist when the definition of fascism is shutting down free speech. Lucian, right now you're scheduled, you're rescheduled at NYU for about a month from now. I want you to come back and visit us after that speech and tell us whether or not they have tanks lined up for your safety and security, because they should, because <laughs> it's your free speech here that's under threat. I appreciate you coming on the show today. It was fun to talk to you.